All right, here we are with a, a Grassin digital timer, the Taletto 894. It's pretty old. It's maybe about, I don't know, seven or eight years old. It's an absolute bitch to try and understand how to uh, figure out how to turn on the channels and how to turn them off. It's a four channel timer, one, two, three, four. So four circuits, they say channels, but it's four circuits. And you can see the previous electrician had put, you know, where they were turning on particular lights at particular times. If you look down here, you'll see I reset them to this time down here, these, these new times. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to totally reset the actual device and then start from scratch. Pretty basic, I'm not gonna go into the, the days, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Because it's, today is Thursday, so Thursday is number four. Uh, Wednesday would be number three, Tuesday would be number two, and so on and so on and so on. I'm not gonna show you how to time, put the time in. I'm, all I'm gonna do is showing you how to reset the device and to put in the times. Okay, here we go. So, initially what you do is, let's say you wanna clear out these times that I've already programmed in. I'm gonna do it pretty quickly, so hopefully you'll understand. You can re, you know, just refresh the screen and do it again. So you press the clock, press, oh, sorry, don't press the clock, press program until you get to FR99392, right? Then press clear once. You can see it's flashing. I don't know if you can see it's flashing right there. And then you come back and press clear again and hold it until it turns to 400. See, it turned to 400. That means that all the channels, you've lost everything now, bar the date and the time that you'd already preset because there's a battery inside this that holds onto it, right? It holds onto it until the battery goes. So here we go, we're gonna start timing, we're gonna start programming the, ch the channels to the time set down in that laid out in that little chart below. Okay, so go back to the clock, right? Go to program and away we go. So we're gonna press channel one and you can see that there's a little circle and a dot in it. That means that this is when it will come on at, right? So I'm gonna actually press the H button, which is the hour button. And I'm going to go up to where it is at 1900 hours is when I want this on, on channel one. Come on. Right. And I just press program. Boom. It goes to the next program in the line. I'm going to press channel one again. Only this time, if you notice, I'm going to press it again and get the dot out of the circle. And I'm going to have it off at, oh, sure. Well, I'll, I shouldn't have pressed the, the minutes, but anyhow, I'll go hours at five, two minutes past five in the morning, right? In the app, in the morning, yes, the morning. Okay, so that's channel one done, right? So now I'm gonna just press program again. I'm gonna press, uh, if you notice, I pressed channel two because I'm going on to two, but one came up. Let's get rid of one because we don't wanna tamper with one anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of it completely. Sugar. Anyhow, let's just come back to that. I'm gonna put it on channel two, right? It's in the on position. Oh, there you go. You have to key in channel two, right? Before it, it lets you um, delete channel, not delete it, but actually just obsolete it for the time being. Uh, so now we're in channel two. You can see it's ready for the on position. We want on, and we want it on at 1900 hours. I'm trying to do this quickly because I don't want you looking at this too often it's on YouTube, 1900 hours. Press program again. Now we go back to channel two again. I press it again. And remember I want it in the off. I don't want channel one on. So now we go to the hours, which I want it off at seven. Down here, see now we go back up to seven, we go back up. And you can see the zero, the little circle with the zero out of it. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. That means it's in the off mode and we press program. Now we're going on to channel three. Now you can see every time we go to channel three, oh sugar, channel three, we're going to channel three, ready? See now it's in the on position. I have to go back up to channel one and get rid of that. So now we're on channel three and the on position is at 19. Come on, I'm pressing this button, but it's not, there we go. Press program, we we'll go back to channel three again. I just got rid of the dot. I got channel one. It's just repetitive stuff really after that for the four channels. And then we go program again. Now we go to channel four. 
I press it again, see it's in the arm position, I go up to one, I get rid of that. And I want it to come on at 1900 as well. 1900, press the program. This is the final setting, which is the off position. I took the zero, the little dot out of it. And we go to, oh, this time I want this on 24, I want it on 24 hours. So I'm not gonna go 1919, I'm gonna actually do it. I started it at 1900 hours. I'm gonna finish it at 1859, which is nearly, it's 23 hours, 59 minutes. Okay, so it's nearly 24 hours. Uh, it's probably the wrong way to do it, but anyhow, this is the way I found it to get around it. Ah, sugar, I have to go all the way around. Sorry. Uh, up to 18. Now we go into the minutes. It jumps in fives for fastness, speed. And then I go up to 59 and press program. And now if I escape, everything should be fine. So what we'll do is we'll just test the programs to see what they go at, right? And you should be able to do this by just pressing programs. When you see, see this, you see the dot? So we're in channel one, right? Or channel three right it's set at five you come down here to the thing see it's at five and go back up to the clock you see the dots out of it so it's at five and then we go channel one which is five and i remember i stuffed up with the two minutes past it's in the off position and then channel two which is seven and you can see the zero with the dot out at seven and so on now it'll go into the on positions see night they're all 19. i know that and they're done. And just, just escape by pressing the clock. And that concludes how we managed to get this stupid. And I know there's more modern day versions of this. I, I was on the phone to the actual supplier and they were very helpful, but they they even, you know, are trying to push me into buying a new one, but not buy it, but I mean to upgrade to a new one. But this is working perfectly. It is a good timer, but it's just so difficult to actually set. And that's about it.